Now, I see this crap yesterday, but I was busy, so here I am today, tearing these race bait and septic spots on the arse of humanity, a new one, since the Sky News Tart couldn't or wouldn't do it herself. Actually, first, let me tear Sly News and the Trout a new one for getting the deranged old goat on the telly to spout this race bait in bullshit and aiding it as you'll see. In fact, I almost thought I was watching the BBC at times. It was literally that shameless. What jumps out of you is that this doesn't sort of represent diverse Britain. Um, it's all these blonde, blue-eyed girls, and, you know, I, I wish them well, but I do think we need to ask ourselves questions about why is it that we've got... Um, it's so... It has but a lack of diversity. Are, they're, they're playing sport at an elite level. Yeah. And they are from Britain. And they're, they're women. It doesn't make any difference. I think if the whole idea behind this is going to encourage more women to go and into the sport... You need some sort of representation yeah. there to say whatever background you come from, you could get to this sort of level. Because it's Britain important, doesn't look like that. Yeah, but and it it's so I mean... important when you speak to these little girls <laughs> right. that they see someone that they can right. relate exactly. to. Exactly. Yeah. It makes such a difference. That little girl might then end mm. up playing football yeah. and... because she's seen someone who looks like her. Well, that there is what you call a massive chip on the shoulder. But first, let's deal with Sky News. As I said, they got this ponce on the show, knowing full well his only angle is race baiting, as is the trout next to him. So thoughts of impartiality are clearly gone out the window. But mainly the country should sit there taking issue with her not pulling him up on literally any of it, and in fact actually helping it like I said. I mean, not once did she point out any of the basic facts that makes what he said sound even more ridiculous than it already did. This I expect she did because she was worried she'd be called a racist for it. So I guess I should do it for her because they can call me that all they bloody want. I'll literally never give a shit. First off, let's start with the bloody obvious, shall we? You're more likely to see white faces than black in an England team because the country is, guess what, majority white. This, it seems, appears to be lost on this prick because I guess he believes TV adverts are representative of the country's demographic makeup. Obviously, this is bollocks because according to the last census, this country is 82% white. This means you are more likely to see white faces with blonde hair and literally any colour eyes because black people make up about 7% in total, while Asians, as the law calls them, makes up 9.5%. Just checking your math on that. Yes. I got the same thing. Obviously, though, like Diane Abbott, this guy ain't good with numbers, or like Dr. Schola, whatever a stupid name is, has a massive chip on his shoulder that forces him to race bait like the best of them. But all starting 11 players and the five substitutes that came onto the pitch were all white. And that does point towards a lack of diversity in the women's game. Actually, it's possibly both of them. I'm starting to think at this point, what about you? Now, I'll sit here right now and bet your bollocks to a barn dance that he don't scream for diversity when it comes to a flex, which last I checked, British running team solely consisted of black people, or by diversity does he mean no white faces because that's what I bet he means. This obviously has me saying that if you don't like all these white faces in a white country, you could always fuck off to Somalia, Kenya, or any other majority black nation you literally wanted to. Oh no, wait a minute, they wouldn't want you, would they, since they've got real issues to deal with in life, not the imagined slights you scream about on TV, you prick. Naturally, though, the Sky News hag threw out her own woke bullshit while not calling out his bollocks because she made out like them being women is diversity, but that ain't enough diversity for him, is it? So she then compounded that stupidity by essentially agreeing with the tosspot when she said people need to see people who look like them to get into football. This, as anyone knows, is bollocks because not once when I was a kid and played a lot of football did I ever care if a football player looked like me. All I cared about was how good they were and none of that actually made me play football. Me liking the game is what made me play it the same as literally everyone bloody else. But this to me just shows we got three people on the TV you know absolutely fuck all about football and are so neck deep in the arsehole of wokery they're like the human centipede of stupidity. I mean it's hard to know where one arsehole ends and the next one begins with these clowns, a bit like politicians I suppose. Pandemic. We're off.